Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to solve the Mega Minx through the beginner's method. Before we start solving, you must already know how to solve the first two layers on the Rubik's Cube, either through the beginner method way or F2L. Without further ado, let's get started. The first step to solving the Mega Minx is to solve the white star. Start by finding a white edge piece and then putting it in its correct slot like my white and blue edge piece. Then do that to the other white edge pieces. If you have a white edge piece that is really far away, then move it towards its slot and when it gets close enough, put it in. The next step to solve the Megaminx is to do the first two layers for all five slots. Let's do F12 for the first one. First put both of the edge pieces on the top so that you can insert it in and then based on how they are placed, do an algorithm to make the pair and insert it in. For the beginner's method, find one of the corner pieces and put it above where it should go. Then insert the corner pieces and after that, find the edge piece. Once you find the edge piece, you can insert that in and you have made another pair. Now finish the last three pairs using the beginner or F12 method. The next step for solving the Mega Minx is something called the second two layers. Start by finding the yellow star and move the yellow edge pieces around until you get them in their proper positions. After doing that, you have essentially made more F12 slots that you could work on. For the yellow, purple, and orange pair, I have my corner piece and edge piece all up here. Depending on the case, you can do one of the F12 algorithms or you can just do the beginner's method instead. After solving the first pair, you need to do the next two. After finishing the F2L on the yellow star, then we would do the blue later. First make the blue star and then do the F2L slots in blue. After that, move on to the red star and do the F2L slots there as well. Now we can move on to the dark green later. Start by doing the cross as usual by bringing the green and light blue edge piece in the correct position. Then we can move on to F2L for dark green. When you're doing dark green F2L, there's a problem. When I'm trying to solve the green, light blue, and purple pair, it's a bit far away from the top, so I can't make the pair. For that problem, all you have to do is move the green edge piece to purple. This allows you to make the pair and insert it. After you make the pair, all you have to do is put the green edge piece back. Then you should have two more F2L slots to do. The final step of solving the Mega Minx is to do the last layer. In my case, I need to solve the gray layer. First, I would make the gray star. If you have two edge pieces that you need to flip and those pieces are right next to each other, then hold them in the front and right and do this algorithm. F, R, U, U prime, R prime, F prime. To flip two edges that are opposite from each other, put one in front of you and the other on the back right and do this algorithm. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. If you have four edges to flip, first flip two of them with one of the algorithms that were shown previously, and then flip the final two with one of the algorithms. The next step is to make it so that all the edge colors match with their centerpieces. If you have only one edge piece that is correct with its centerpiece, then move around the top and you should find two in the correct position. If these two are right next to each other, then put one of the edge facing you and the other one to the left and do this algorithm. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, and R prime. If all your edges haven't been placed properly, then do this algorithm again. If you have two correct pieces that are opposite, then try turning the top to the right and see if one of the edges becomes solved. If that doesn't do anything, then try turning it to the left. This has to make one of the edge pieces solved. Once you have one piece that is correct, face it towards you and do this algorithm until the edge piece on the right is correct as well, which is R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. After getting the case where two correct edge pieces are next to each other, do one of the algorithms that were previously shown to get every edge piece correct. 
If you have the case where you can only get one correct edge from every turn you make, then do this algorithm with the correct edge facing you. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. This should give you another case and you can solve it with one of the previous algorithms. Now, we can move on to properly orienting the edges. Start by turning your Megaminx so that it's upside down. And after that, look for an edge piece that isn't oriented correctly. Put the unsolved edge piece on the bottom right and then do R, U, R prime, U prime until the gray side is on the bottom. After that, turn the bottom and only the bottom to the next edge that isn't oriented and do the same set of moves until the gray side goes to the bottom. Now, do this with any remaining pieces that you have and you should have a fully solved gray side. Now all we need to do is switch the edge pieces so that we can solve the Megamix. For this step, we'll be using two moves. R, U, R prime to take out an edge piece and R, U prime, R prime to put it back. Start by turning your Megamix so that the gray layer is on the bottom. Then find a gray edge piece that is not in its correct position and do this algorithm to take it out, which is R, U, R prime. Then find and move an edge spot on the gray layer depending on the colors of the edge we just took out. Since I took out the gray, beige, and pink edge piece, I find the place where it should go, which is here, because it has the same colors as the edge piece we just removed. Then move that spot to the bottom right like this and do this sequence to put it back, which is R, U, R prime. Then we look at the gray edge piece on top that we have and identify the colors. Then we find the spot with the same colors and put it in the bottom right and do R, U prime, R prime. If you have a situation where there's no gray pieces on the top, then find an unsolved edge and bring it to the bottom right facing you and do R, U prime, R prime. Then solve like normal. Now we know how to solve the Megaminx. If you guys like the content you are seeing here on this channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell button so you never miss out on another video. Thank you guys for watching, hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!